Hello guys, today let's create a crystal material in Unreal Engine. First, we need these three as surface textures. You can download them for free in my Patreon. Then, let's create a material. A crystal material. Put these three textures into the material. And we need to change blend mode to translucent. Here we don't need to change the shading model and two-sided. Then let's connect these textures. Oh yes, we also need to change the translucency lighting mode. Surface translucency volume. Okay, let's connect them. The base color texture we need a dynamic emissive color, so let's add a power. Then use lerp to control its exponent. Lerp's alpha we need a cycle from 0 to 1, so let's add a time, sine, constant bell scale. And lerp's a is 2, b is 3. Let's preview it. Okay, we can see a dynamic emissive color. Then let's create a bump effect for the material. Okay, copy the base color texture. And then let's add a camera vector. Transform it from word space to tangent space. Then we need a material function, custom reflection vector. Connect it to camera vector. And normal, we only need a Z axis normal, 0, 0, 1. Here, we need to mask its channel. 1 is R and G channel. 1 is B channel. Use R and G channel multiplied by the absolute value of B. Oh yes, we also need to divide the absolute value by a constant. Then multiply them. The constant value controls the distance of the bump. Then multiply it by a tiling. The bump textures tiling. Default value may be smaller, 0.01. And add it to text code. Finally, connect it to UVs. OK, let's preview it. The distance value may be 200. Well, the bump effect is not good on plane. Let's change it to sphere. And the tiling may be 0.001. OK. Connect it to emissive color. Now let's see the effect. Yes, now we can get a bump effect. We can see that it seems to be inside the sphere. If we change this value to 400, we can see the distance will be further. And if we change this value to 100, we can see the distance will be closer. OK, copy these nodes, we need a different distance. Here we set the distance to 400. OK, power the texture. Make its surface darker. Then let's add them, we can get a bump effect with two different distances. OK, let's multiply it by an emissive color. We still need to use time to control its dynamic emissive color. It's very simple, just copy this node. Oh yes, we need to set a default emissive color. OK. Then add the bump color to surface color. And multiply it by a finale. This value we need to promote to parameter. 
set the default value and connect the output to emissive color. Okay, now let's create an opacity. We also need Fennel to control its opacity. And this parameter, we need to rename it to underscore op, that means opacity. Then set it to default value 50.04. Let's preview it. Okay, add a power. Exponent is 0 0.5. And we also need a lerp. Connect it to opacity. Now we get an opacity effect. The lerp's value A is 0 0.2, B is 0 0.3. Okay, now let's create a reflection effect. First, let's search the reflection in details. Reflection method, index of reflection. Here we also need a finale to control its reflection. Just change exponent to 1 and base reflection to 0 0.1. Also, we need a lerp and connect it to reflection. Okay, the material is done. Let's save it. Here, we can create a material instance. In material instance, we can change this parameter to control the material style. First, let's set emissive color. 5150, a purple color. Then let's change this finale parameters. Base reflect fraction is 0 0.01. And exponent, we need a negative value to make an inside glow effect. Maybe negative 5. Well, the emissive color is too strong, we need to change the exponent OP. Negative 1. Uh, it doesn't work, maybe something wrong, let's change the material. Okay, we found it. The lerp speed should be 0 0.1. Okay, let's preview it. Set exponent OP to negative 1. Now we can see the center part should be close to black. That means it's translucent. So the emissive color will not be so strong. Save the material and let's check it. Okay, it's work. Let's use the material instance to the mesh. Now we get a material similar to crystal. It looks great. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.